Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial video. Like before, I have showed you how to upscale anime images, but this time I'm going to show you how to upscale anime itself. That means now you can watch anime in 4K or in better quality in real time. That means you can upscale any anime that you like, be that old, new, or animes that look really blurry for some reason. Uh, this is a really good way to like enjoy your anime better and this is how you do it. First of all, this only works on local media. You cannot make this work on Netflix or Crunchyroll. That means you need to get local files for your anime. And no, I'm not going to show you how to do that. This video is only going to be about anime 4K and how to make this work. First of all, you need a video player that supports anime 4K and the only one that does is MPV. If you don't know MPV, MPV is an amazing video player. This is my primary video player for a long time and it is really, really good. MPV is open source, so that means they can get forks out. So if anyone wants to make a different version of MPV, they can do that. You can obviously download the normal version of MPV and enjoy it, it's fine, but Personally for me, I'm someone who loves a bit more features onto it because original MPV is pretty bare bones and uh, it's alright to use but I personally would prefer something a little bit better and in that case I would recommend MPV Net if you want like a better GUI, more features like picture in picture and stuff like that I recommend using MPV Net and yes, Anime 4K will work with both of these or probably any forks of MPV. Uh, to make Anime 4K work, first of all, you need to go to this website. This is Anime 4K's GitHub. And from there, you have to go to releases and download the Anime 4K zip file here. All you have to do is just press on it and you can download it right here. After that, open the file and extract it just like that. And if I go on top here, we got Anime 4K, it's all the files that you need to make this work. So it's pretty easy to do. Like this works on Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. Uh, today I'm only going to be showing this on Windows. So on Windows, what you need to do, press Windows R, and you need to go into percent app data percent. And inside here, uh, like if you are on normal MPV, you'll get the MPV folder. But if you are on MPV net, uh, you'll get the MPV net folder. So just open that and inside that you need to make a sh shaders folder if you don't have it already. Uh, if you already got the folder, just open that and copy all the files that you just downloaded and extracted onto this folder. After that, if you go into like installation instructions down here, uh, you can uh, search if you are on Linux, for example, you can check what to do here. It should be pretty easy. This guide is pretty good, but if you're on Windows, which I'm going to show you today, just press on Windows and after that you'll get two options. One is optimize shaders for high-end GPU and optimize shaders for low-end GPU. So uh, they have given examples down here. So if you have a higher-end GPU like a uh, RX 590 or 3090 at this point, uh, you can use uh, the optimized shaders for higher-end GPU, which will uh, upscale it to a bit better than what the uh, lower-end GPU does. But in my case, I find both of these pretty good. And even if you do use the low end GPU one, you should get a pretty good experience. I personally have a RTX 3060, but I don't really see the reason to use this optimized high end GPU one because I'm already upscaling it to 1080p and I can already have a bit of headroom by using the lower end GPU version. So what you have to do is just copy it by pressing this. And what this is doing is you need to set up controls on MPV to make this work. So if you go back into uh, MPV net folder, you will get this input.config file. You right click on that and you press open with and open with notepad. And if you open this and scroll down to the bottom after uh, the last line, you just press the enter button and you just paste whatever there was. I've already done it, so I don't really have to do it. And you can just file, save it, and close it. That's all you have to do, and you're done with your setup. So I'll show you how now this works. So here I have a couple of anime files. So here I'll uh, put on some Kaguya-sama. I'll just 
mute it. So if I go to somewhere, let's see here. Now this already doesn't look that bad. Kaguya-sama is an anime that looks decently sharp, but there are some animes that are that look atrocious. Not gonna lie, super blurry. So what you have to do is press Control and press any of these from one to four. Personally, for me, I think four looks the best. And if I press on that, it looks super sharp and it looks really, really good. Look at that. It looks beautiful. And if you want to turn it off, all you have to do is press Control zero and all the shaders will be cleared. You can already notice what it does on top. So that's all the setup that you need to make this work. And yes, as I said, this only works on local files. It won't work with your Netflix or Crunchyroll ones. So you do need MPV for that. Uh, anyway, guys, that was the simple video. I think this video will help a lot of people experience anime a bit better, at least because a lot of these animes could get super blurry. Do know that you do need a pretty good GPU for this work. And if you have like a really low end GPU or Intel HD, this is sadly not going to work. I do know how discouraging that is, but sadly, yeah, you do need a pretty decent GPU for this to work. Uh, so if you do have a good or decent GPU, then go ahead and do this. This will make your anime experience way better, 10 times better, especially on your, like, I'm not sure if it'll work really well with older animes, but animes that are like super blurry looking, this is going to be a lifesaver for you. Anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching this video and I will catch you later with another video because this was a short, simple video that will probably help you.